our next guest has made Ellen DeGeneres dance for well over a decade. Mm -hmm. And in that time, he's become a household name as a resident DJ on her hit talk show. And now he's leaving the turntables behind and leaping into the world of film. Here to discuss his new movie, Mother of George, is DJ turned actor Tony Okumbawa. Hey, hey guys. Welcome, welcome. Hi Tony. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? Okay, so before we discuss Mother of George, yes. let's talk about Ellen. Yes. The show started a few days ago and you weren't there. What is going no, on? No, I um, miss you. Yes, uh, it's so funny I'm talking to you about it first because <clears throat> of course, you were the, one of the first people who interviewed me for the, um, the New, New York, York Times, Times yes, yeah. a few years back, 10 years on. So I loved the show and I, I've had 10 amazing years, but um, I, it's time to move on. Yeah. Really? I'm, Wait, um, that's a bombshell. Yeah. You're leaving the show? I'm leaving the show. Wow. Yeah. Why, Tony? Um, you know, uh, it's just been 10 years and it's time that I sort of find other avenues like film, like the film, the film stuff I've been doing has sort of mm -hmm. taken off and it's taken up a lot of time and you know, I, I love Elle and I love everybody there and I miss them and I was watching the show the other day. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be there. And, you know, well, but, it, but it's totally, you know, yeah. th that's, that's life. We move on and we move on. Well, now, how would she feel like, about it? Yeah. Was she upset? What, what was there any bad blood? She's, she's like, don't leave me. No, no, <laughs> that, that, Ellen's not that type of person. Okay. She's incredibly supportive and, mm -hmm. You know, um, never say never. I, I might pop back at some stage, but for the most part, I, I'm, I'm done. But you left the show before in 2005. I did. I did. And you went back in 2008. Yes. Why'd you leave before? Why'd you come back? And will you go back to Ellen again? Uh, uh, that's a lot of questions in one. Okay. Uh, the first one. So let's take the first one. Why did I leave in the initial? In, 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 the reason I left in 2000 and uh, the first time mm -hmm. was because I uh, I went to produce a movie. I was, I was in, in, you know, we had a bunch of things go and I realized about a year and a half in that, and it, it was also at a time when you couldn't, or a lot of people didn't do multi things. Mm -hmm. And I realized, you know, with the schedule, everything, it, it just didn't work. And when I went back, it became, it was a well-oiled machine. I could come in and do it. And then I have these long breaks off to do stuff. So I was able to do everything at once. Um, in this particular occasion, um, you know, I just, we, I reached a point where the, the film stuff was taking more time and I, mm -hmm. you know, it involves travel a bit, it involves like, you know, just a, a lot of other commitments that would interfere with the Ellen stuff. And so, um, you know, being able to audition and make myself available for other projects and TV shows if they come along, um, it, it was time. Um, will I go back? In, I've, my mother always used to say, never, be, never speak in absolutes. I, 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 I never speak in absolutes. But as for now, um, I'm, we're definitely done. Mm. Yeah. For now? For now. We're done. OK. Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like you got your hands full with these other projects. Speaking yeah. of your film, yeah. your new film, Mother of George. Mother of George, yes. This is an exciting project, because it was a you. hit at Sundance, and Manolo Dargis, and the New York Times called it visually Splendid. Yes, and that's, we, that's huge. Yeah, we were we're very, very, very fortunate, and we won an award for the best cinematography uh, at Sundance. Um, yeah, it's a it's a great project that um, my friend and someone who I've worked with before, Andrew Dosumu. Mm -hmm. We had him on the show last mm -hmm. week. Yes, yes, I saw yes. that. Yeah, he directed it. Uh, I'm in it, and I'm one of the producers on this. Um, it's a film that's been in the works for a number of years. And uh, we're so happy that we can finally bring it to you guys. So what drew you to the project? Yeah, what drew you to the project? It was a story that I think is incredibly universal. Um, it's uh, one of those, it deals with a bunch of subjects that people normally don't talk about. Mm -hmm. um, and also, it's one of those, those stories that you say, you, you literally, when you're watching it, you go, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, gosh. So that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that type of you know, storytelling is always very important. Well, let's take a look at a clip. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Where were you last night? Huh? The sketch for the new cabinets. Good. You want to be part of this business or not? Sorry, I forgot. So they didn't forget. Look, it's no big thing, okay? I'm sorry. Next time it's no big thing, tell me. That way I won't keep waiting for someone who isn't going to show. 
Tony, no big ting. <laughs> no. Your accent is noticeably thicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the character that I play. It's He's, the character. You yeah. Talk to us about your character. Uh, I play a character called B, mm -hmm. who is the younger brother of uh, the character you saw there, B, band, um, B, B's who I am, the character. He's the younger brother of uh, Isaac's character, um, Isaac de Pancoli, who, by the way, <sighs> It was amazing working with him. I've admired him for so long, and he plays my older brother. And um, he is this younger brother who's stuck between a rock and a hard place and some decisions he has to make. And his responsibility, or he's, he's, the way he feels responsibility to his family, and the, some steps he takes, which the audience might think, how could you? But he sees it as a necessity in yeah. order to keep his family the in place. The only way. Yes, the only way, that's it. The well, stakes are very high for him, for sure. And the cast is amazing. The cast yeah, is a pretty right. stellar I mean, cast. Everyone from Denai Garira to mm. Angelique Kijo. Yes. You're one of the producers. How did you pull this off? Well, um, they're basically relationships. Andrew, uh, Denai, and I had worked together along with our DP, Bradford Young, um, on Restless City, mm -hmm. the first film we did, so Denai was definitely there. Um, Angelique Kijo I had met socially a few years ago through um, a mutual friend. Um, and we all won that award together last year, remember? Yes, 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 at the uh, Shameless applause. plug for right. us. <laughs> it was the first award I'd won, and an applause. That was a lot of fun. That was, that was a, a lot fun, of fun night. Yeah, Ooh, that was a good night. That was a great night. Anyway, back um, to you. Yeah. <laughs> back to the movie. Back to the movie. Um, and then there was um, uh, Buki Ajayi, who's mm -hmm. a veteran Nigerian actress who is hilarious, absolutely hilarious. And um, yeah, and then Yaya Alafia, yeah. um, who is going from strength to strength. She's been in, I think she's in um, The Butler. Yeah. She was in uh, The Children Are All Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's in it as well. So it's a really good What was cast. the energy like on set? It was great. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a, a lot of laughs, mm. especially with Bookie and I, because <laughs> she is the funniest woman. And then I had to sometimes get pinched when I was in scenes with Isaac because mm. I would forget my lines and just watch his mastery and be like, mm. wow, he just did that. They'd be like, Tony, that was your line. Oh, sorry, can we do it? <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like you were doing a little learning while you were there as <clears throat> oh, well. Oh, yeah, I'm always learning. learning. Yeah. Never too big to learn. Well, Absolutely. He's actually a genius. Mm. Well, what about working with Andrew? Because I know, like, as you mentioned, you guys collaborated before together. Yes. So, yes. you yes. know, is he your go-to collaborator? Well, <laughs> I, at this stage in the game, I would have to say yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what, what, what That's a good can, thing. What, what camera can I look at to confirm <laughs> right here, that? Okay. Right here. Andrew, you are my go-to collaborator. <laughs> 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 no, Andrew's a friend. We've known each other for years. We understand each other. He, he, he brings out the best in me at the moment, and he's just such a really, he's, he's got such a talent, and, he, and, and he's not, you know, he, the way he frames things, mm -hmm. at the time you think, oh, what is he doing? Then when you look at it, you're like, I get it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a really, really talented guy, and I'm really excited for what the future holds for him. Aww. And yeah. for you. And for me too, yes. Okay, so you were born in Nigeria. No. The other no, way around. You were born in London. I was born in London, educated in Nigeria. Educated yeah. in Nigeria. Yes. Then you lived in New York. Yes. Now you live in LA. I do. And you became a US citizen. Yes. So where do you consider home, Tony? <laughs> Whatever well, he lays his hat <laughs> is his home. Oh, there you go. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wanderer. <clears throat> no, I'm a I'm a I'm a citizen of the world, but I mean mm. it goes without saying I'm Nigerian first and foremost from bloodlines. That's you know, my parents, you know, and and, and just the languages I speak and the heritage, I'm Nigerian, but I'm also a Nigerian who happens to be British and uh, American. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now we got the background, yes. you, you know, where you come from. Yeah. But what about what happened before Ellen? Because a lot of people know of you and discovered you once you hit the scene of Ellen, but yes. what were you doing prior to that? I went to, I went to school to be an actor. Mm -hmm. um, I, that's, why, that's why I cut my teeth. And I, um, I was sort of working in fashion. I worked in fashion for a number of years, actually. And I sort of bopped around like most actors between DJing and auditioning and hoping for that one job and you sort of latch onto it and run with it and then I was DJing at a photo shoot and that's how I met Ellen. I was gonna say, mm. it's yes. a great story. Yeah. Shannon, you have to hear this okay. one. Okay, so um, a number of years ago, a friend of mine who's a photographer called Andrew McPherson, he and I came up with an idea where we would hire a DJ to DJ on photo shoots. So instead of the iPod or the mm -hmm. tape, so you have a DJ and you basically what that would involve would you would research the person, what type of music they like, when the energy's yeah. dipping, you sort of crank up their favorite music to get them going and it worked yeah. out. It's a great so, idea. Yeah, so he asked me if I would do one, he was shooting Alan and I, 
I went by the shoot and I started playing some music and she came up and she was joking and she told me a joke. Told me a joke that she had had a dream about her and 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> Doing what exactly? She didn't say, she didn't say oh, okay. but it was, it was a funny joke and I just cracked up and that was how I met her. And um, she offered me the job. Mm. That's how we met. So how did appearing on that show change your life? Well, <clears throat> it made me a, a household, household name, name in yeah. a lot of areas. Like, I was your go-to DJ. Now, mm -hmm. when I say this, I mean not necessarily the coolest DJ, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you your mother, your grandmother, your auntie in Wichita, they all know, oh, the DJ, Tony the DJ. So mm -hmm. My they, mother adores you. Now, that's you a different that. one. We're going to attack that in a second. OK. We're going to attack that in a second. <laughs> but you know, so that's what it did. It made me a household name. And it also gave me a bit, of, a bit more of a profile to allow me to do the things I'm doing. So for that, I'm eternally grateful. It's one of those amazing opportunities that is a once in a lifetime thing. Mm. And uh, I happen to just be blessed enough to receive that. Very blessed. Yeah, I'm very, very blessed. So now then, what's next? More film, more DJing, more TV shows? Before I talk talk about that, I want to just address Lola's mother. Uh -oh. Well, no, actually, let me take that Mom back. OG. My mother. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> My mother what thinks that Tony's her son. She oh. doesn't think that. She knows that. <laughs> As they say in Nigeria, how can you tell a woman who her child is? Oh, I That's like how we that. say in Nigeria. She knows that I'm her son. Uh -huh. She knows that. She wanted to get on the train and bring you food here. I, I, you know what? <laughs> that would have been the best situation. <laughs> not that this time. is not a great set and the interview is not great. But let me tell you, that is my mother. She's, okay. in, uh, she's in Virginia, just chilling mm -hmm. right now, waiting for me to come home. <laughs> Wow. That's my mom. That's a great woman to have on your side. Oh, goodness, are you she telling is. me? Mama OG's the best. Yes, she is pretty amazing. And <laughs> I, I, you okay, know, so, I, Tony, tell us what's next. Yes. What's next? Okay, so. You um, just shot a film this summer. I just finished another film called Echo Park, which we did with Mamie Gummer. Oh, um, that's huge. Yeah, she's a pretty amazing actress, mm -hmm. and so we're in the process of editing that right now. I'm um, developing a couple of other vehicles with, um, uh, you know, different people in mind, which we can't say yet. But um, it's, it's incredibly exciting. And then uh, also developing some TV material. Ooh. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, call a sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will do. We'll talk to you about it later. Okay. <laughs> no, there's a lot of really good things going on. It's exciting. And it's, you know, of course, when you leave somewhere after being there for 10 years, it's a little... A little tentative, a little nervous, mm -hmm. but you know, it's so far it's been absolutely amazing, and you know, um, hopefully I'll be able to go back on mm. Ellen and promote some of these things I'm doing. Well, you have to come back here and promote everything absolutely, you're doing. Absolutely, okay? absolutely. I think I might have just found a second home. You have it. Aww. Yeah, That's right. I might just have to just chill in the cut and just be like, you know, I'm over here. Just can I get my deliveries here? That's the deal. <laughs> yeah, I, that I, I, is listen, the deal. I'm all for it. It's amazing. Oh, Tony, so yeah. good to see you. You too, guys. Keep really bringing good. those exclusives. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys are the first people to hear about the Ellen stuff, so you know, um, I, I, I miss it. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Tony. You, Tony. Oh, thanks for having me. You rock. Thank you. Rock. you. <laughs> You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.